Today, I'm gonna do a breakdown comparison of StreamYard versus Restream. And we're actually gonna jump in the tools in live time here in the video and look at some of the differences. Because to be completely honest with you guys, I'm looking for the better tool for myself too. So this is what the user dashboard looks on each of the tools. This is Restream and this is StreamYard right here. So in StreamYard, it just says create a live stream, or a recording or a webinar. On Restream, we just click on Create New, and it says Create a New Stream, Restream Studio, go live from OBS or Zoom, a video file, playlist, or record an audio slash video. Let's do a live stream. Let's see what this process feels like in Restream first. All right, so I'm using two different webcams here, so this is a little bit creepy, but it is what it is. So just as expected, I can customize pretty much every little setting here. I can have a border, I can add different scenes, I can add media, and then I can choose which channels it's going to be published to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and then you could add more channels. So I really like this. There's different view platforms. Say if you had multiple people in here, you could do different views. And what's really cool about Restream and StreamYard is we can go live in multiple locations. So Restream seems simple enough and I like the user interface. So let's go and try StreamYard. So let's click on a new live stream, click on what channel you want to do it for, title everything. We are now entering the studio. All right, so the same type of thing here. All we have to do is kind of customize everything. This user interface does feel a little more simple than Restream, I will say that. You can click the settings and kind of customize all the settings here. This feels very, very simple. I can customize the stream here with banners. I really like that feature. I can do comments, bring them up here. I can do private chat, add branding. So it seems the live streaming features are very similar and they both offer kind of the same thing and they're both great. So if you're looking at both of these tools for live streaming, man, it's a close one. All right, so that has me super interested in what is the pricing breakdown for these. So if we pay monthly here, the free option with StreamYard has a watermark on your video, so that's not gonna be acceptable. So their core plan is $25 a month, and you get 1080p and three destinations. Restream has a free feature, but it only does two channels and only 720p. Their standard plan is only $16 a month, but it doesn't tell me the quality of video. But their professional at $40 a month is 1080p. It's kind of weird how the free plan says 720p, it doesn't say anything on the standard plan, but then the professional is 1080p. Like, tell us how much the standard is and what quality my video is. I gotta say, I don't like that. And if I go with the $49 a month plan with StreamYard, I get 4K recordings. So the pricing, I gotta say, I'd probably lean towards StreamYard on the pricing points here. And again, guys, if you want more information on each of these tools, Restream versus StreamYard, I'll put my affiliate links in the description for more information. But let's get back to this comparison. So I've been dissecting both of these tools, and I feel like the categories that kind of di like differentiate these two tools is ease of use. You know, how easy is the interface to use? And what's crazy is they're both very similar tools, man, and they're both like similar layouts. But I feel like StreamYard is probably a little easier to use. It almost feels like an Apple product to me. It's so clean, it's so simple. So for ease of use, I think StreamYard wins this. As far as pricing goes, like I said, I think StreamYard also wins with pricing. I really didn't like how Restream on their standard plan didn't tell us what quality the video is recording in. I mean, chances are it's 1080, but like if it's 720, like the free plan, like I'm out on that plan. As far as customizations within the like the interface itself, I feel like Restream, you can do a lot more. The designs aspect, the backgrounds, they have a lot more stuff built in. You can essentially do all the same features you can with StreamYard as you can with Restream, but Restream has more. So as far as customizing your videos and streams, I feel like Restream wins for this. I think what's happening here though, guys, is both of these tools, when one of them comes out with a new feature, the other one like copies it. So like these tools are pretty much in direct comparison and it almost feels like the same company owns these both of these tools. I could be crazy, but it, it feels that way a little bit. One thing that I was reading too is Restream actually has better outreach because you can add more platforms to it than StreamYard. But chances are you're probably just live streaming from the basic social sites, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, etc. But maybe if you're on a different type of site like Twitch or something, maybe Restream is going to be a better option. So my final thoughts on the Restream versus StreamYard comparison, I will say that this is a tough comparison here, guys. If you're looking for what's easiest to use, I feel
feel like it's going to be StreamYard. If you're looking for something a little more customizable, I feel like it's Restream. And if you're going to sign up for one of these tools, please consider using my affiliate link in the description, one creator to another. It helps support the channel. And hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're looking for. What type of content are you producing, etc., etc. I want to hear from you. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.